What's going on everybody? Today is Semester 8, Episode 2, a final review on the second course I took this semester, CS6400, Database System Concepts and Design. So let's get started. So it's been almost an entire semester with barely any uploads or updates. So where have I been? Well, last semester, I decided, because I was in a fully online program and really could do my classes from anywhere, that it was the perfect opportunity to do a once-in-a-lifetime trip. So, I planned a trip all across the United States to a ton of different national parks to hike and explore while continuing to finish my degree. So I left my job, signed up for two courses, this one and CS6400, Database System Concepts and Designs, and along with my younger brother and master video editor, Michael, left to go across the country. We had so much fun exploring the US and spending so much time together. And it really was one of the huge blessings of my life to be able to do that three month trip with my brother while still finishing two courses in the OMSCS program. If you're interested in that trip and want to hear more about it, we have another YouTube channel, HBK Adventures, purely dedicated to it. So feel free to check that out after this review. Like I said, this semester, I decided to be a full-time student and take two courses. This course and CSE 6242, Data and Visual Analytics. A final review on that course came out a bit earlier, and if you'd like to see it, you should be able to find it on my channel. All right. So CS6400, Database System Concepts and Design, what is the course about? This course really focuses on one subject, and that is databases. Now, unlike CSE 6242, where the course briefly covered a lot of different material, CS6400 takes a deep dive into a small amount of material, basically the opposite, this time being quality over quantity. In this course, you learn about different database systems, how to build EER and EER relational maps, and generally how to work in databases, including basic SQL commands. The grade distribution for this class is split between exams and a project. In this class, there are no assignments, which is pretty great. The class has four exams that cover the four major subjects throughout the class and three project submissions that we'll take a look at a little bit later. The exams for this class are a combination of true and false, multiple choice, and fill in the blank for tests that apply. The tests tend to be about 25 questions each, which does mean that each question is pretty valuable at about four or five points depending on the question. Now, it should be noted that the class does use ProctorTrack for their exams, which does become a little bit annoying. You are allowed to use notes in the exam, but you have to upload them to Canvas first and then open them through ProctorTrack uh, which just causes a lot of switching between tabs when you're taking the test. It's not a big problem, it just is a little bit annoying um, and definitely slows you down a little bit during the test. But you're given a lot of time, so I wouldn't worry too much about time. Now, one additional note to make about the tests is that test number four is particularly more difficult than any of the other three tests. As you can see up on the screen, I have the averages for the class on each test, and the average for the first three are within reasonable ranges. I would even say the average for exam three is particularly high. But when you get to exam four, everyone in the class tended to do not too well on exam four. So just be aware that it's a little bit harder than the other exams. Um, the tests tend to be a combination of tricky and reasonable questions, but I personally found exam four to be more tricky than the other exams. Now onto the project. Just like the project in CSE 6242, the project here is broken into three phases, but unlike the other project, this one is not student designed and your teams are assigned. For this project, you're given a prompt that explains a fictional need for a database and your team is asked to design that system. Our semester's example was a car dealership called Jaunty Jalopies who needed a database to manage their vehicles. In the first phase, you're asked for three deliverables, an IFD diagram, an EER diagram, and a report covering a bunch of additional details. For reference, my team's report for this phase was 34 pages long, but that does include a lot of figures within the report. Phase two has four deliverables, 
a document containing abstract code and SQL commands for your database, again, for reference, my team's document for this part was 48 pages long, an EER relational model, a database schema, and lastly, an updated version of the EER diagram submitted in phase one. Lastly, phase three consists of only a single deliverable, the code for the database. At this point, the design of your database is basically complete, and all your team needs to do is put it into action. This was the most time-consuming phase for my group, so be ready to put in a few hours, but overall, the project was manageable. Here, we can see a few examples of the interface my team used to design the database. For our database, we used React.js for the front end. Additionally, one person in each group will need to do a demo for the database for the TAs on a video call. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the class, let's go through my thoughts on the overall class. So CS 6400 Database System Concept and Design. The class definitely has a lot of good things going for it. First of all, you get a really good understanding of databases and SQL, which for me was the biggest draw. Additionally, there's a reasonable amount of lectures, you don't feel overwhelmed, and with the no homework, the class becomes really manageable. And lastly, the final demo for your project is really interesting, even just to see all of your work from the semester come together. However, the class does have a couple of cons that come with it. First of all, there is some amount of limited learning. The class is really focused on databases, and that's about as far as you get. So it'll give you a deep dive into that, but that's about it. Additionally, I do have to hit the class for using ProctorTrack on exams. It's just one of those software that kind of limits you. It keeps you only using one screen, which does become annoying when you're trying to use notes. Uh, and I just don't find it useful for what it does. And lastly, I do have to hit the class on being harsh on grading. Now, when I say harsh on grading, what I mean is that this class announces in the beginning that there's no curve meaning a 90 and above is an A, an 80 to a 90 is a B, and they're pretty rigid on it. So with the four exams and the projects, you really have to do well on everything if you're really looking for that A. Now that we've taken a look at the pros and cons for the class, what type of student should take this class? Well, first of all, any student who's looking to get a better understanding of SQL, which was my situation, this is a great class for you. After taking this class, I feel much more confident in my skills connecting with databases and using SQL. Additionally, any student who might be taking two courses and wants a second course to add on to uh, their semester, this course is great because it doesn't have homework and as long as you're able to get through the project if you've got a great group and you're able to study for the exams, the class is really manageable. And Lastly, any student who loves project work and likes to meet different people in the program, this would be a great class for you. Now the big question, would I take this course again? And for me, happily, yes, I would. Like I said, the focus of this course is to get a better understanding of databases and learn SQL. And for me, that's exactly what I was looking for coming into this course. For my chosen specialization, machine learning, it's important to have a base understanding of SQL so that you're able to pull the data from the database when running your projects. I've even been asked on interviews to take quizzes in SQL to make sure that I know how to do so. After taking this course, I feel far more confident in my SQL ability, and this class was a great way to gain that skill while completing another course in the OMSCS program. As always, thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions or comments about anything in the video, leave a comment in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested, don't forget to check out my other channel, HBK Adventures. That's it for this one and this semester. Eight classes down and only two more to go. So hopefully next semester will be my last semester in the OMSCS program. Thanks again. And as always, like and subscribe.